uh, welcome guys in our SSIS tutorial in this tutorial we are going to focus on another transformation that is merge joint transformation and you can assume my joint transformation is, a, is similar to your SQL joints which uh, is conditional based where you can use the inner left or uh, full outer joint so uh, there are some ideal conditions where you can use the merge joint uh, transformation support that uh, you have a two files one is containing your uh, salesperson details another is containing your salesperson sales detail etc and the data may be on the same environment or maybe heterogeneous environment or maybe in heterogeneous formats so before using merge join there are some points you need to take care of it of them for example uh, before using merge join transformation the data must be sorted in both sources and matching key must have the same data type this is the compul compulsory thing and merge join accept only two compulsory sorted inputs and it is conditional based and you can apply the condition on your incoming data inputs like inner left or full and merge join have only single out output and does have only one error output but uh, if you are going to compare merge with merge join so in merge there is no conditional specific uh, things and uh, there is no error output this is the two basic uh, things and uh, support that if you want to add uh, mul mul uh, multiple files then full uh, then you can use union all transformation so guys we are going to show you some data for so here you can see I have a data for customers having ID name address and I have a another file that is my customer salary and here you can see ID and sell salary so I want to combine both files and populate a single file so how can I do that so uh, first of all I am going to back my development environment here I have already created a connection manager to connect with my database and a file connection manager to connect with my uh, raw data file so here I have just drag a data flow task and double click on it now I have to add to SQL assistant like it now one is my sql server so i am going to uh, choose selected connection manager with S data source and i need to choose uh, my file my table sorry that is table table customer and preview of this data now you can see there are uh, four uh, rows and three columns okay now i need to add another data source to connect with my raw data file so that i am going to choose source type file flat file and connection manager now i have two data sources and before before using merge join i need to sort both of them both of them so i'm going to drag sort okay and just uh, sql data, data path to sort and click on sort now you can see it is going to open sort transformation editor i need id and output alias is id so type ascending and sort order is one you can choose remove rows with duplicate sort values if you want i checked it click on ok button now i need to do the same for my raw data file so here okay now connect it 
click on the sort for flat file so it is open again the source transformation editor so I am going to check ID and remove rows with duplicate sort values if they have click on ok button now you can see now I have to check the metadata so what I'm going to do here I'm now columns so we are going to check the metadata for both uh, inputs right click on it data flow path and the metadata I am going to check the key value matching key that is DTI4 in SQL for the same I am going to check metadata for raw data file so matching key keys have the same data type so it is good to know that so you should have to check it now I am going to enable data viewer here the, the same I am going to do for row data files now I need to use merge join ok so just drag and drop and match the data flow path as a merge join left input ok now I am going to match again another sort and click on my join now you can see what is going on I, it is using inner join and I need these columns and cell D ok there you can see the sort in the output which is coming from the three, out, uh, three outputs coming input column are from sort and another is sort one now click on ok button so we need to watch the sampling output so we, uh, we need row sampling just drag and drop and merge join going to be connected with row sampling here I am going to enable data viewer so I have used inner join so just going to execute this again now <coughs> you can see this is the data which is coming from our row data file having five columns and this is the data which is coming our SQL table and this is the matching rows so because we are have used inner join so it is going to show only matching rows now I am going to stop the package and go to the join and add join editor property merge join and going to choose as a left after join that means all the rows from left should be display okay in row sampling going to execute this again now you can see the data which is coming from okay now the data from the SQL server this is the, the data is which is because we are we have apply the condition left so all the data from row uh, row sorry SQL table is coming here now I am going to back and use the full outer join full outer join if you want to save the inputs you can do that so I am go just going to rerun the package ok now you can see this is the, this is the input which is coming from 
now in a data viewer which is coming from the our sql data source you can see the four rows is coming from our customer table uh, these are the five rows which is coming from our uh, row data file now if i am going to now these are going to uh, into the merge and in the merge you can see in the merge you can see that uh, all the rows are combined here now you can see there are uh, these are the rows which is coming from the, our sql table and these are the rows which is coming from our raw data files only three records are matching with each other so all the information for these three rows is available but uh, Sally is not uh, Sally is available for the employee inform uh, customer information which is not available so we have another customer that is KMUN but uh, uh, her Sally is not mentioned in our raw data file so guys <coughs> you can see uh, so guys you can see that uh, it is very easy to use a merge join and apply conditions as per your requirement and you can use any data source as a input to use uh, merge join but make sure data should be sorted and matching key must have the same data type okay these are the two very common requirements to use the merge join so guys thank you for watching us please subscribe my youtube channel to learn more on ssis ssrs sql server talent python r azure database azure data warehouse data modeling and we are coming with more videos on tableau and power bi also